featuring the Everything Nice palette. Today I am going to do a brown kind of smoky eye. Um, and I'm getting my hair cut today, so you're just kind of getting fresh out of the shower hair with me today. So um, stay tuned for my third look featuring this palette. Okay, so first thing I'm doing is taking the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Original and placing that all over my eyelids from lash line to brow bone. Then I'm taking Max Painterly Paint Pot and placing that down as well. I use the same combination every day and this makes my eyeshadows um, stay all day and they do not crease. Now, um, just to give myself a really blank canvas, I'm putting down Turtle Dove. I find that when you place a light shadow down, it helps all the other shadows blend even better. I'm taking Fond of Hue on a Sephora Pro Tapered Crease Brush, placing that in my crease. Now I'm taking a MAC 224 and the key to any smoky eye or any eye look really in general is to make sure those shadows are blended. So I'm just blending those shadows out. Now for the inspiration for this tutorial, this is Secret Lovers. I really wanted to use this shadow in some way and so I'm taking this on the outer third with an Urban Decay brush. Um, this is just a really small brush that I have and it helps me place the product exactly where I want it. Because what I'm doing is taking this in the outer third and in the inner third and then I'm going to connect the two together through the lower part of my crease. Be your left hand man. I love you when you're singing that song and I got a lump in my throat cause you're gonna sing the words wrong I just wanna, I just wanna know If you're gonna, if you're gonna stay And let's go back in and blend some more. This is the 224 again. So after I blended, I'm just going back in to help build up that color some more. Again, on the outer third of my eye and inner third of my eye and then in through the crease with the Urban Decay brush. Now I'm just taking my index finger and I'm taking Don't Settle and just pressing that onto my eyelid. And because I wanted something a little brighter there, I'm now taking After Hours and placing that right on the center of my eyelid. Then I'm going back in with Bond of You because with all that blending, I felt like I blended away my transition shade. So I'm just placing that back down. This is the Physician's Formula Eye Booster in black. I'm trying to keep this as close to my lash line as I can to give some definition to my eyes. Cause you're gonna sing the words wrong. And in my waterline, I'm taking Marc Jacobs Blacker Gel Liner. And I'm making a sad face because the liner part of it broke off. <laughs> now I'm taking that Don't Settle shade on a matte pencil brush and placing that on the outer half of my lower lash line. And we are on to curling my eyelashes. I just give it, give them several squeezes 
and then I place Chanel's the Volume Day Chanel Mascara on my eyelashes, both top and bottom. This is my favorite mascara, and I've been using it nonstop and exclusively for months. Now I'm taking the First Aid Beauty Triple Eye Remedy thing. It feels really good when you put it on, and you can see that it is brightening up my under eyes. You can see the difference between my left and right eye. Okay, and next I'm going in with foundation. This is the Dior Star Foundation. I'm in the shade 020, and I just kind of wipe it on my face. That was the NARS Creamy Concealer. I usually put that on my chin and around my nose. And this is an IT Cosmetics brush for Ulta. It's the Blurring Foundation brush. I've really been enjoying using this brush with my Dior foundation in the past week or so. I was using a beauty blender, but I'm really digging this brush. I just wanna know if you're gonna, if you're gonna stay. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. And I'm gonna set that with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And it's time for brows. I use the same thing for my brows every day. This is Max Omega Eyeshadow with a Real Techniques Angled Brush. And this is the Anastasia Wow Gel in Caramel. Taking an IT Cosmetics blush brush from the Live Love Beauty collection. And this is the blush from the Everything Nice palette in Papa Don't Peach. And I'm taking Chocolate Soleil Bronzer from the powder on a MAC Stippling brush and placing that just kind of on the back half of my cheeks and then I'll go through my temples here in a moment. You're gonna sing the words wrong Oh lady, running down to the riptide Taking away to the dark side I wanna be your left hand man Oh, I love you when you're I'm using Retsina from Bite Beauty for lipstick, and I'm going to top that with the Chanel Glossomer in Sage. This is from the Saw Collection. Okay, guys, so this is my finished Get Ready With Me um, with the Too Faced Everything Nice palette. Um... I think I'm going to do at least one more of these. I, my goal is to put one up every week in November. So maybe I have two more to do then. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I'll give you a little bit closer up look of the finished, finished, get ready with me. Thanks for watching.